in just uh, about an hour my time. It's going to be V-Day. Woo-hoo-hoo. The day of St. Valentine. Yay. Um, so I don't know. I'll probably have a good day. I have someone in my life that spoils me, and I, I really hope that you have someone in your life that spoils you as well. This, of course, will probably be posted way after Valentine's Day because sometimes it takes me a while to put things together. I am recording this because last night I had a most unusual for me dream that yet at the same token was a lot like Rook and uh, I'm pretty sure it was just a dream but uh, a lot of the professionals and uh, uh, people who have been in researching this field for a very long time say that there's a lot of truth in dreams a lot of information will come to you in dreams so I thought I would record this and put it out because me mm, eh, it's a weird dream <laughs> now through the day before I went to sleep uh, I was working on a client's artwork in their artwork are were three moons and he wanted one to look kind of like Venus and one to look kind of like Mars and so, you know, I was making these red swirly giants and red this and swirly that and just all day long, 12 hours of fighting these stupid moons, <laughs> you know, and then a friend of mine's like, ah, you know, stars this and star that. So the theme yesterday for me all day long was outer space. And uh, so uh, in my dream, uh, I had been taken to a solar system that was not ours I was I knew I was far away and uh, I'm in the airlock and a male superior authority figure tells me ah, to get my butt out there and to fix this satellite <laughs> I didn't want to go because I felt like I didn't have proper equipment as a matter of fact I felt naked stepping out of the airlock or really felt more like I was thrown out you know kind of like when you're jumping out of a plane or something only not quite like more like get out you bum so I felt like I wasn't wearing a thing at all I knew I was wearing clothes I was conscious that I was wearing something but it felt like I didn't have any gear on at all and we were really really close to this swirly planet and it was kind of reddish but it wasn't Mars so you know like I said you can tell that my, my dream was influenced through the day and uh <laughs> I was really, really uncomfortable being so close to this planet on top of feeling like I wasn't wearing enough gear. I mean, I'm, I'm cast out into the vacuum of space. The first thing I expected was, can I even breathe out here? Well, with this, what I've got, I'm not wearing proper gear. And then, <laughs> then it was, okay, we're really close to that planet. I am not liking that. We're like so close, gravitational pull. This is making me nervous. I don't like this. And the satellite or object in question it I knew it was silver and I mean it was a nice silver it wasn't like beat up or anything it was kind of shiny and I knew it was cylindrical and it had a uh, like here's this I'll try to show you here's the cylinder and you know how like they'll have a flap it's almost like a door open and I open the door and I reach to my right side and pull out from something a weird looking wrench I cannot describe this wrench to you. I'll sketch it while I talk real quick and show it to you. Um, except that it was like one of those wrenches where you you do the the lever and they'll open like a parrot beak, you know. But there was extra stuff on it that although I knew what this extra stuff did, I also didn't know it was red and these lines were white bits over it that were extra functions and extra things and this is the wrench mouth and I got the wrench out, out and I began to question was I really where I thought I was and I was like I will test it <laughs> if I'm not in the vacuum of space the wrench will fall so I let go of the wrench and it didn't like fall like a heavy wrench would it kind of floated down a little bit 
you know. <laughs> so I, I don't can tell you what was happening. But I remember at the time I was like, oh, I have to take this over and force it to float to me because I really don't want to think I'm not where I think I am floating because that would be bad. And that's about when the dream sequence ended. And uh, it's a very silly dream, kind of, kind of like a lot of things around me are silly. But <laughs> I can't help it. I can tell you there weren't a whole lot of stars where we were. I remember uh, it was dark there. Um, I don't know what that means, but it was dark there. And uh, yeah, so, you know, <laughs> weird dream, everybody. <laughs> I don't know. Do with it what you will. Yay.